In this online lecture, I'm going to introduce the topic of solubility and how we use it in organic chemistry. So for instance, let's say I have a polar solvent. Remember that means all the molecules making up this solvent are dipoles and they have partially positive and partially negative ends. Now you probably remember this famous expression from general chemistry and that is like dissolves like. So that means if you take a polar solute here in pink and try to add it to this solvent right here, he should be soluble. Simply his charges, as we can see here, will match up with the charges in the solvent, which means that's why polar solutes dissolve in polar solvents. Some vocab here, we should know that this is called solvation. We can say that the solute here is being solvated by the solvent. Which means, let's say we have a nonpolar solute with a polar solvent. This solute being nonpolar means that it doesn't have a dipole, it doesn't have partially positive and negative ends. That means if we try to mix these things together, the strong attractions of the solvent to itself will not let this nonpolar solute in. So he is simply expelled. Therefore, the only solvent that could solvate this molecule, of course, would be a nonpolar solvent. Trying to mix these together is easy because in this case, the solute won't be locked out of the solution. So therefore, nonpolar solutes dissolve in nonpolar solvents. But let me show you something else that solubility explains. Solubility can explain how soap works. For instance, look at this organic molecule right here. This is the molecule that makes up fat in our body. Later on in organic chemistry, we'll learn a reaction that will remove this part of the molecule right here and turn it into this. This thing right here is called a fatty acid chain. Think about this for a minute. If you perform this reaction on a lot of fat, you would have a lot of these molecules right here. And sticking all of them together would give you something that looked like this. This thing happens to be called a me cell. This structure forms spontaneously due to solubility rules. The long carbon chains of this molecule make this part of the molecule very hydrophobic, water-hating and the OH groups on the outside of these molecules make this part very hydrophilic, water-loving. Since, remember, like dissolves like, the hydrophobic parts of these molecules all gel together, creating this spherical substance called the me-cell. Now, how does this connect us to soap? Well, think about the different types of dirt you can collect. According to organic chemistry, you could have either dirt that's hydrophilic, or you could have dirt that's hydrophobic. To get the hydrophilic dirt off of you, all you would have to do is rinse off with water. The water would dissolve the hydrophilic dirt and therefore remove it from your body. But what about the hydrophobic dirt? Let's say you happen to have hydrophobic dirt on your skin. Water wouldn't be able to simply wash this off. But if you take soap, which is just a collection of me cells, and rub it on your skin, the hydrophobic dirt will be extracted into the hydrophobic center of the me cell. And since the outside of the me cell is hydrophilic, when you rinse off the soap with water, it will pour the me cell down the drain. So that's why we use soap to clean ourselves of both hydrophilic dirt and hydrophobic dirt. Just another interesting fact that organic chemistry helps us to understand.